Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am super excited that um, I am going to be a brand ambassador for Rosie Studios and today I want to take you through this beautiful new collection, uh, Better Together, which is just released and in store today. I will leave the link for you down below in the description box. This is such a sweet and pretty collection. I'm sure you'll love it as much as I do. Um, I'm just going to start because there's a whole bunch of stuff to go through. One of my favorite, my favorite -y favorite things, uh, and I can't take it out of the packet, you'll see why, is this gorgeous little sprinkles mix. Um, there's like little polymer clay hearts, uh, little... Um, I don't know what you call them, like little pink sprinkles, but there's also these gorgeous little yellow gemstones and some kind of clear, uh, sort of, they're more 3D kind of little square clear bricks in there too. So all sorts in this mix. It's so beautiful, so sweet. Um, I love those little yellow gemstones and yes, I will be pulling them out of the pack and separating them out separately because I have a... Uh, I have a fun idea for them. So this is one of my favorite things in the collection. It's so pretty. It goes perfectly with the rest of it though. Uh, there are some chipboard frames. Uh, these ones are also like adhesive on the back, which is super handy. There are 12 in the pack and they are all different sizes. These tiny little Polaroid frames. There's all sorts of gold accents in this collection, which is really pretty. This one says smile. There's two little heart frames. There's some gorgeous florals in here and these, um, these frames match that perfectly. A couple of slightly larger ones, again with the gold accent. This one says beautiful, it's upside down. And some ovals, again with the gold accents. And then little Polaroid frames, again, one with the gold on there. Now this chipboard, I love it. It's not super, super thick. It's quite thin, perfect if you're putting things in pockets or if you just want um, something a little bit slimmer for, say, a traveler's notebook or if you're trying to keep your albums a little bit thinner. Uh, I definitely love a thin chipboard. And like I said, this one has the... Um, you peel it off there. Some adhesive backing on there, which makes it super easy for making shakers, that's for sure. Um, another one of my favorites from the collection are these puffy stickers. These ones are just the most beautiful, bright, shimmery gold. Look at all those little hearts, little, um, well, either pluses or crosses, however you want to look at them, and a whole bunch of ampersands, which are super cute, all different styles as well. There are, uh, there's a few different, there's a whole bunch of different stickers in here. These ones are the chipboard hearts, and again, it's that lovely thin chipboard, so not super bulky. Really easy for making layers that don't like, you know, rock your pages up. But um, lots of gold on here as well and all of these pretty pastel colors. But the collection does have this kind of uh, like hint of kind of navy blue as well, which I really love. It's kind of a nice neutral in there. Um, apart from kind of black and white and gold, you've got this darker, darker navy, which offsets those pastels so pretty. Uh, there are two sheets in the chipple pack, so heaps and heaps of hearts. Another set of puffy stickers. And one of the things I love about the Rosie Studios puffies is they're always super soft. You get those puffy stickers that are like rock hard and they don't bend and they're hard to pull off the sheets. And uh, these ones are beautiful and soft. They're such a joy to use. Again, I also love their little miniature size. So many little puffy stickers. I love them. You can see all the cute wee icons on here. It's definitely a very kind of love themed collection. Um, so it would be perfect for like anniversaries or, um, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm using it for later in the week, but mine is definitely not a romantic love kind of project, but it still suits this collection just perfectly. 
There is a gorgeous little 4x6 stamp set in here. It's got all of these pretty sayings if you want to make cards um, or add them to your layouts. Um, gorgeous little birds too. Love birds on a branch. There's little icons on here, the little hearts, uh, wee music notes, and a lock and key. All sorts of different fonts and styles on there, but they're so pretty. Um, you make my heart sing. It's always better when we are together. Sending my um, like love and hugs, like all sorts of things you can mix and match these stamps together. Now again, puffy sticker alphas. These are the same beautiful, lovely, soft little puffy stickers. All the colors of the collection. I love them, these little kind of square alphas, fun for mixing and matching. I always, I always try to end up spelling out words from the same color. So I really have to challenge myself to use these multiple color alphas. Um, my favorite, of course, is this bright pink in here, but so many cute little alpha stickers, bunches of E's, not gonna run out of E's in here. Um, another set of chipboard stickers. These ones are kind of the embellishment set. And again, there's two sheets in this pack. Um, lots of kind of cute, like, I guess, um, like titles or sayings, as well as the little icons in here, the chipboard circles, little page flags. Um, and again, that super thin chipboard that I just love, love. Uh, lots of little gold accents on these ones as well. More puffy stickers. These ones might be my favorite in the collection. The scripty little font on these um, title stickers is so whimsical and fun. I love the way they kind of mix and match together. Um, all sorts of different combinations you could get in here because the words are kind of really basic, easy to mix and match together. Um, you could mix and match them with the alpha stickers as well to kind of create extra titles. I've had so much fun using these ones. Uh, more puffy stickers. I mean, you know I love a puffy sticker. I love a tiny word sticker, and these are the puffy tiny word stickers. Um, super cute. There's little hearts tucked in here as well too, but you've got all the colors of the collection. There's two different fonts in there, and again, we've got that kind of scripty font that I love, um, as well as the basic uh, caps font. Just so fun. I love these ones so much. There are two different packs of die cuts, um, sentiments and ephemera. I'm not going to open these for you because there are like literally hundreds in here. Uh, so the die cut sentiment pack has 162 pieces. The ephemera pieces has 172. Uh, there are a lot. Handily enough though, there is this kind of sheet in the back of the packaging that shows you exactly what there is. You can see all the cute little icons. There's really, really pretty florals in there, lots of hearts, lots of little birds. Um, and you get two of each of these. So uh, an absolute ton of um, die cut pieces. Same goes with this one. Um, lots of bigger blocky pieces. I love these kind of cards. They're not quite three by four, I don't think. Um, smaller and smaller still. So really great for like layering. There are some fun kind of, I guess, title die cuts in there as well too. Just all sorts of things. Again, you've got the hearts, the circles, uh, there's tags, all sorts of bits and pieces, but you get two of each. So basically you never run out of die cuts. Um, I'll go, the, this is the last pack. This is the um, cardstock sticker pack. I love these ones. They're like a little bit thinner than the chipboard, but they are still a lovely thick uh, cardstock. And there are four sheets in this pack. So there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here. Lots of kind of like floral, icony bits. And again, with the gold foiling. So there's lots of gold throughout this whole collection. And then a sheet of two different kind of styles of tiny word stickers. So some that are more blocky and some that are just typed. But again, the option of gold or black. 
more icons plus a whole like sheet of labels which I love um, little page flags as well and then more kind of sentiment stickers these would be a super quick and easy way to put together a really fun card you could layer them up with some of the die cut pieces on the pattern paper and be done super quick super easy and then the papers, so 6x8 and 12x12, 12 12. the same papers are in the 6x6 paper pad. So I'm just going to show you the 12x12 12 12 papers. There are foiled um, papers in here as well. The 6x6, you get two of each design, uh, and the 12x12, 12 12, there's just one in here. So there are so many florals in this collection. I just love it. This one here is kind of peachy tones with the blues. Uh, little birds in there with the florals as well. The thing I love about the Rosie Studios papers is they are single-sided um, So they make them perfect for a couple of things that I use them for when I make my own travels notebooks They're great for not only the covers But also the interior pages if I want to make a notebook that's got patterns and planes perfect for that um, But also I never have to choose which side of the paper I like I'm a sucker for a B-side, and so there's often comes a point where I love both sides of the paper, and you can't use it. It means you've got to get two. Uh, this one, no problem with that, because all of the patterns are on one side. This is a really cute little text-based uh, design. I'm not sure if you can see it there on camera. It's a very light gray, kind of textured with uh, white outlined words in them. Grateful for you, so loved thinking of you in my heart all along those lines such a pretty kind of neutral base as well this is one of the foiled papers so there's little polka dot hearts and the hearts are gold foiled on this really gorgeous kind of peachy toned base and again that's got that really almost a painterly kind of texture into the back of it this is one of my favorite florals. I love the color, this really bright kind of tealy blue with the navy and white. So cute. Uh, polka dots with the birds. There's little birds and bird houses all throughout this collection and this paper coordinates perfectly with that. You could use it as a background or you could definitely punch out the little circles and make a whole pile of little embellishments. Another really fun neutral gray. This one has a little tiny, it looks like a polka dot, but it's actually a heart, little white polka dot hearts on there. So pretty. This might be my favorite paper in the collection. It's got that really cool tone bright pink that I love. Um, kind of a messy grid on a white background. This is definitely one of my favorites. There is another kind of gritty pattern in here though, and that's that same peachy color with a white grid, probably quite hard for you to see. And here's another one of those pretty florals. This time it's got a lot more of that kind of cool toned pink, which is why I love it. Now this grid is kind of in reverse. The grid is in white, and in the background is kind of a taupey neutral color. And this one does have the little love hearts in there as well. They kind of look a little bit like envelopes to me, like sealed envelopes. This is another favorite little cross stitch pattern, peach on white. And another floral. This is kind of a slightly darker toned coral with the um with the navy blue and white accents as well. But I love this kind of as a base. The new, the floral is a lot smaller than some of those other ones, which kind of makes it blend. It's really great as a background. This little heart pattern is really pretty as well. All sorts of different colors in there. Um, you could even trim these out as little strips. I think they would work really nicely, but it is a lot more muted, so it would work really well as a background as well. This is the only green in the collection. It's a very tiny kind of grid pattern in there. It's more of a texture than anything else. Um, lovely kind of pastel light green. This is another one of my favorites in the collection as well. You can tell why. Um, that cool toned pink with the navy and white floral. Here are those lock and keys again. And this is another one of the foiled patterns. So the little locks are gold foiled. 
all sorts of different people on bikes. There's all sorts in here. Um, different skin tones, different hair colors, different configurations. It is so cute. Um, this is another favorite too, a gray at wood tone. I'm really loving this kind of gray as a neutral pattern. Um, and I love the squiggly wood tone pattern too. Two more to go. You can see there are a ton of papers in this pack. What did I say? There's 20 different designs. So this is another little lovebird one, this time on that navy blue background. And the last floral I've got here is this super sweet daisy pattern, again on that peachy toned background with the white floral. So you can see why I love this collection, guys. It is so beautiful. Even the packaging is sweet. You could definitely pull the card out of the packages once you've used up all your bits and pieces and use that as well because it's this beautiful grid, um, peachy toned grid. So pretty. Love being able to use packaging too. Um, I love this collection. I know you'll love it too. So I want to send this whole collection to one of you. Uh, just leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite thing in the collection is and I will pick one lucky winner that I will send the collection to. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to share more of the things that I have made with this collection with you. Take care, guys. Bye.